You've heard of the open road. Well, this is open water. Swimming open water gives you a sense of freedom that in the pool it doesn't. Um, and I think that's really cool, sort of knowing that you can control your distance, you can control your speed, and no one is telling you where to swim or for how long to swim. It's all up to you. This is going to be his year. Cheryl Williams is excited for the future. Yeah, we got a whole memory board here that we got to work on putting together. She also cherishes the past. I don't necessarily need the pictures as a reminder because I carry them with me everywhere I go in my heart. But there's no time like the present. I'm very proud of Dexter. I don't think a mom could be more proud. Four to six, fourth book, and here's Dexter Williams. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Uh, go ahead, James. I have the fish and chips, please. Do you want chips or do you want fries? Fries. Okay. That's an Irish thing. When I say chips, I actually mean fries. What do you think? Fish and chips or open Chris steak sandwich? Awesome. Both of them are awesome. All right, all right. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll stick with the skirt thing. Maybe we'll try, try a little bit of each, I guess. Well, you, you've been here for a while now. Does it still, does it make you cringe at all when you hear Americans say soccer instead of football, or are you just kind of used to it at this point? I'm used to it. I call it soccer now. Go yeah. the way. When I'm at home and I say soccer, people are looking at me going, oh, Right. Yeah. I always feel like this is the second chance that I was given to do all the things that I had planned to do or what I want to achieve in life. Marco has a wife and three kids. He has a job he loves and a running career that's earned him a sponsorship from Nike. Most importantly, he's happy. As human beings, we have tremendous powers to overcome adversity. So I want that kid out there, somebody watching this story, to know that you can overcome anything in life. It's you telling yourself you've got this. So the Magic were kind enough to send over some digital seats. I got a little link from the NBA. I just clicked it and we are joining now. Once you're in, moderators from the Magic help you get your screen all set up. Hi, Patrick. Can everyone in here hear each other? We can. Oh, right on. So we got our virtual seat here, but I feel like something's missing. Hey, just because I'm an objective journalist doesn't mean I can't rock one of the best jerseys ever made. Let's go Magic. The experience is definitely a little out of body, but after a while, you start to feel like you're there. Vucevic on the attack for the Magic. So, Nicola, you come into this season with a new coach. The team drafts Mo Bamba. Everyone's talking about the modern centers, the stretch five. Uh, you go out and have the best season of your career. Vucevic spinning, hooking, hitting. I kind of feel like that wasn't a coincidence. To me, I mean, the, the, the biggest impact, again, for me, maybe, it was, you know, also Coach Cliff. The one thing that he's done great is using me both inside and out, and you know, giving me an opportunity to, to really, you know, use my skills. Fournier to Vucevic, hammers it home. Day three, a fresh start. This time, the wait would be short. The to allow the Bengals to make the pick. Is it the quarterback? I think it's the quarterback pick. At 12, 12 p.m., Chauncey got the call. Hello? Picks on day three. When it wrong, I was like, oh, was that the call? And then when he said, yes, sir. So I was like, okay, let me let me go sit next to him. Yes, sir. Like, the next thing you know, my heart started racing, you know, my palms get sweaty, and I thought I was about to pass out. I just asked him where he was going. Where we going? That's what I said. I said, where we going? He never answered me. And then he pointed at the TV. <laughs> The Saints drafted Chauncey with the 105th overall pick. New Orleans Saints select Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Defensive back, 12. The wait was finally over. 
Now, the real work begins. I made it, but I didn't make it. I just, now I'm gonna make every team that overpassed on me, just, you know, feel it. If it's great to be an Edgewater Eagle, it must be great to be Tommy Hill. Connolly barely has time to let it go into triple coverage, and Tommy Hill makes the catch. Tommy is a senior receiver and defensive back. And Tommy Hill's got it for the touchdown. A perfectly thrown ball by Mobley. His playmaking ability has made him one of the top recruits in the state of Florida. I think the thing that really sets him apart is how competitive he is. Uh, he, he's competitive at practice, um, he's competitive in games, he just wants to play football. When I just hit the field, just everything out of my mind just empty out. I just play. You've seen his highlights. This is his story. It's a rough story, let's say that. Uh, it's, not, it's not a fantasy, let's just talk about that. Uh, it's rough around the edges. Uh, it made me just become a man at an early age. No, 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 no. John, when you beat me, that's when you can talk. It's a weeknight after football practice, but the game continues. Thank you. Whoa. Ain't no, they say oh, this pass Ain't no thank you. On me. Ain't no thank you. Ain't no thank they, you. They said I, I told you I was going to score. Tommy is playing Madden versus his teammate Kai, a teammate that's become a brother. At practice every day, he always, like, tell me what I do right and wrong. Help me get better the next day. This season, Kai and his family. And then that's, that's how they do it all game long. They'll sit there and just they, they go back and forth over who can catch, who gonna score. Took Tommy in. I tell him, look, you, you can stay here as long as you like and stuff, but I want you to stay focused. You had problems before. I had similar issues before. When I was younger, not having my father around in life, so and my mom had to do a lot of raising us up. So I know kind of like where Tommy's coming from. John, can I set it up, please? Can I please? John and Kai are just two of the many people to help Tommy. In the game of life, no one wins alone. Look at the score. Look at the score. You ain't beat me that bad. Look at the score. Before Tommy ever came to Orlando, he grew up here in Tarpon Springs, about 30 miles from Tampa. His mother, Laura Tasha, raised him and his two sisters. By the age of five, Tommy started to realize his family situation wasn't normal. It was just a lot of uh, bad situations in my life. Uh, mom was on stuff. Um, dad was really wasn't there at the most, but he was trying to. Uh, then. Other than that, I just had to make my decision to make myself better. Tommy says his mother started having legal issues because of an addiction to drugs. In April of 2015, Pinellas County court records show she was arrested and charged with retail theft, resisting an officer, and child abuse. It was not like she was doing it, not care about us, but she was like going in the store, stealing food to make me and my sisters eat. Uh, she used to always make us eat uh, before she ate, so I still appreciate her to this day. At that point, the Florida Department of Children and Families stepped in. It was a, it was a discussion, you know, um, between uh, my sister, Brenda, my older sister, and my brother, Milton. Tommy's uncle, Doug Wallace, had already raised two sons in new sports. He decided to take custody of Tommy when he was 13 years old. This is pretty much where um, all the training began right here. Doug quickly signed Tommy up for Pop Warner with local trainer Low Wood. We got this phrase, you can't catch a cold in the North Pole. And tell him he missed all the passes, and, and he, he know he did, so he can't sit and say he didn't, but he was athletic. Bring him out here, and uh, we would set some cones up, and I would start teaching him um, how to run routes. Cause that's when he started becoming, to me, becoming Tommy Hill. That's when it started, because he just was determined. Because once we got him pass on, it was a totally different person. By the time Tommy was a freshman in high school, he already had an offer from Florida State. At Edgewater, his father started coming back into his life. He always be like, Tommy, Tommy, point at me. So every time I school, 
I do a big play, I always tell them, you come point at me, so that's a lot. That's a, that's a happy celebration for me. These days, Tommy points, even if he can't see him pointing back. On the morning of March 15th, 2019, Tommy's father was riding his motorcycle on US 92 outside Tampa. According to a crash report, Tommy's father attempted a pass near Carmack Road. He collided with a car in the other lane and was vaulted from his motorcycle. He died on the scene. After that, I just passed out, not passed out, but cried. Tommy wears a necklace with his father's picture around his neck and has his death day tattooed on his wrist. Every time I go, I always tell him, let's ride. So that was a big impact. Come on, let's go! I'm looking at a bunch of dudes that have shared their heart about lives that they've lived that have been tough. We get a chance now to go as a family and show that toughness and show that love to this county, to the Central Florida area, and to the daggum state. When Tommy plays, you won't see his mother or father in the stands, but that doesn't mean he's alone. Okay, let's lock up, Tommy. Let's lock up. There's John Glenn. His uncle, Duck. There you go, Tommy. There you go, Tommy. There you go, Tommy. That's all right. And Demetrius Crane, who tutored Tommy and has been a mother figure in his life. All right, go! And as long as he continues to play, he knows that we will be there um, no matter where he's at, because we're his family now. All right, come on. When he scores, he points. His new family celebrating with him. <laughs> His father watching from above. Edgewater number one. Tommy Hill is Edgewater's son. So he's had a lot of people in his life that have helped him uh, in a positive direction. And, and you've watched him grow and mat mature, not just as a player, but as a young man. And that's a testament to so many people. Hey, I told you I was coming. Tommy. 